Taylor Swift created history at the 2024 Grammys, and not just in one category. The song Anti-Hero by the singer-songwriter was nominated for Song of the Year, but it did not win. Nonetheless, the nomination was a significant honor for the celebrity. Swift has broken out of a tie with multiple other artists for the most nominations ever in that category, giving herself one more shot at winning the trophy for the best written song of the year. Thanks to the accomplishment, the top of the charts is presently standing alone, but it could not last forever. Swift has six nominations for Song of the Year before Anti-Hero, tying her with Paul McCartney and Lionel Richie. Although she currently has more nominations than any other artist in history, Swift has yet to win the award. Unlike McCartney and Richie, who both won once for their work on the Beatles' Michelle and We Are the World, respectively. It's probable that McCartney will be nominated again this year. Now and then, the Beatles' See You Final and Comeback hit is nominated for multiple Grammys in 2025, including Song of the Year. Although nothing is guaranteed, it's quite probable that voters at the Recording Academy will not want to pass up another opportunity to honor the most popular and revered band in history. By all accounts, McCartney's Now and Then has all the makings of his eighth Song of the Year candidacy. He should be able to mend his relationship with Swift. After that, it's quite likely that she will be considered for one of the eight spots. Swift has a number of songs that may be nominated for Grammys, and the voters have already proven that they are major Swift fans. The lead song off her most recent full-length album, The Tortured Poets Department, Fortnite, is the one she's most likely to submit. That song, which includes Post Malone, shot to the top of the Hot 100 immediately, so it's likely that she'll play it first. In all likelihood, McCartney and Swift will go head-to-head -head for the Song of the Year award. Ultimately, if that turns out to be true, the ex-Beatle will terminate his fight with Richie, and Swift will maintain her lead over all other songwriters. However, until nominations are announced in a few weeks, it's impossible to predict with any certainty what will happen. The dates from which individuals can be considered for the 2025 Grammys are September 16th, 2023, and August 30th, 2024. On November 8th, the nominees will be announced, and on February 2nd, 2025, the 67th Annual Grammy Awards will take place.